everybody, it's Dan Kroll coming to you live from the 2018 Daytime Emmy Red Carpet. Hello, what's Hi, going Dom. on? <laughs> Not much is going on. I'm here no, just to we're... celebrate this beautiful genre and um, Days of Our Lives. And... Days of Our Lives has been, what's the word I'm looking for? On fire. The kids say lit, but I'm too old to say that. Well, are you liking it? I mean, you, you follow them all. You know Ron's writing from One Life to Live to General Hospital to Days, and I think he's I think he's lifted the bar and he's yeah. added some fire to it. So I yeah. think it's good. I kind of I mean I, I'm a fan uh, of Ron's writing. It's, Me too. It's always fun. It's always exciting. It's always a little risque. There's always something to talk about, and who doesn't want to have stuff to talk about? And every day there's a little cliffhanger, and Friday there's always a big one. He knows how to write. So that being said, yes. In 15 seconds or less, okay. I want to know everything that Eve has gone through in the last year, since the last Daytime Emmys, and go! Well, she's married Deimos. She was accused of murdering him. She would never kill she, anyone. No, she accused of murdering him. She got the company. She was engaged to be married. She got to the altar. She dumped her man because mm. he cheated on her and lied to her. Uh, now she fired her boyfriend and then now she's had to work with him in the company and they've launched this face of, new face of Bella and she's found out she thinks that he's cheated and now he is in the hospital and she's on his you know his deathbed hoping that he lives only to hopefully get back with him so again as I'm saying nothing really has no, happened in no, the last year no. just just a, another day at the romance park. at its best <laughs> I have been asking people who I talk to to give me a question to ask to the next person. Yeah. It's gotten me in trouble, okay. but I'm still doing it. I have been asked, what is the last thing that you've done that has gotten you in trouble? You're talking Cassie DePiver? Yes, okay. I'm talking Cassie. That you're willing to share that won't, because I don't want to have to bail you out if it's something that you know is what? bad. My husband keeps me on a, a short leash just because, you know, I'm always kind of breaking the rules. We had LASIK surgery done. Oh. This is true. Okay. LASIK last week. And I don't follow the rules. Like, I, you know, I'm supposed to wear goggles to go to bed so you don't hurt your eyes so I can see. So he's like, he makes, he, I get in trouble because I don't really follow You don't the wear rules. your goggles. Okay, that's really lame, but that's it. No, well, someone needs to keep his character in General Hospital on a short leash. That's another story for another but, time. Oh, isn't that crazy? Now, he didn't know he was getting into that. Mess, I know he didn't. I know. I can tell. So it's like, I remember he, he read the, um, the first script where he says, oh my gosh, I'm really becoming a creepy dude. And it really bummed him out, but I think now that he's embraced the situation, it's the hot topic. Embrace the creepy. Yeah. I mean, it, and you know, it's, it's, you know, listen, I played a young predator, I played a predator with JJ, so I said, well, you can do it too, you know, so that's what we, we're doing. So, I'm going to let you return the favor. Yeah. What question would you like me to ask? I don't know who's going to come here oh, next. Okay. So what would you like me um, to ask of whomever stops by next? What brings you the greatest joy? Thank goodness. I thought you were going to get me in trouble. No. Because uh, people give me all sorts of questions. No, no. I'll keep it clean. I'm so happy to see you. Great. I'm always happy to see you. Oh, absolutely. Hey everybody, it's Dan Kroll coming to you live from the 2018 Daytime Emmy Red Carpet.